Hey, how's it going? Hello! So, uh, my washing's in the background, isn't it? Looks pretty mangan. It's washed. Just jeans and stuff. Sorry. So, Black Friday was last week, and I thought, reading up on some stories from Black Friday, I always see some interesting stories of people doing silly things and just being general nutters to get these amazing deals that apparently we can't get any other day. So, I thought, one of the biggest first world problems was staring me right in the face. So I had to make a video. I had to be that person. So this first world problems, as you can probably guess already, is going to be about... Da -da -da -da, Black Friday. So I'm going to give you people that I think that you find on Black Friday, wherever you go. I think these are the types of people that come out and say hello and go shopping. So let's ki just kick it off really. That really clever person that doesn't want to leave the house and is just going to stay online and be ready with that purchase button right on the edge there, ready to say, right, I'm going to purchase some stuff. The internet savvy shopper. Ooh, Amazon. The last world's first ever TV in a box. Completely flat, HD ready. It's going to be good. Only one left. How much? God. Even with 50% off, that's really expensive. Mm. Hang on. Susan is also looking at this item. Well, sorry Susan, you just missed out. Ha ha, that's mine. Number two is that person that kind of goes shopping and someone else pops their mitts on something, but they're quite passive aggressive, so they try and say it in a nice way, but basically, with their eyes, telling you, you touch it again, and I'll eat your soul. Yes, the world's first flattest TV in a box. That is 50% off. Not too bad, I'll roll with that. Right, what else have we got over here? TV in the back? Not bad, not bad. Sorry, uh, that's mine. I uh, had it in my hand. Did you not see that? No, it's fine, don't worry about it. No, um, it is the last one, and it is the brand new TV in a box. The world's first flattest TV. But, I had it in my hand. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> no, that's fine, just uh, don't grab it again, right? The greedy one who just comes out with ridiculous amounts of stuff for no particular reason. Right, I got, got my shoes. I got my new bag. I got my new jeans. What else have I got? Um, triangle. <sighs> Scarf. I've got five scarves. I've got two for going out and then three for just chilling. Um, but it was £51.50. Well, <laughs> That's that then. Take it. Let's go. Just buy stuff purely because it's there and because it's cheaper. It could be 30% off on another day and they'd go, mm, no, I, I, don't, uh, I don't think I'll buy that because huh, it's in sale but I can't afford that. But when it's Black Friday, oh, and it's 30% off, they'll buy it anyway. The shopping nutter who just is just there for the banter, the experience, they've just got paid and they're just ready to spend it. I've even got my own bags to fill up my stuff. I love shopping! The person that's just casually on a day out doesn't realise it's quite Black Friday and gets completely stuck in the entire rush. One that's quite close to home for me. I used to work in retail, so I know this pain. This one is dedicated to you guys. This is for people working in retail on Black Friday. Hi, what can I get for you? Hi, yeah, yeah. Um, I love. Oh, I don't want this. I don't know. Do I want this? Do I want this? Yeah, I love this. Do I change my mind about this one? Is it all right? Can you put it behind there? Is that all right? I've changed my mind. I just picked up whatever. Oh, this could be nice, Marie. Yeah, that one as well. I'm going to have that one. I'm not sure about this one. I don't know what you think, but it's gone down from £50 to £49.50. So, uh, do I? Don't know. I'll just throw it in the corner of the rest. That'll be £70, please, love. That person that knows exactly what shop they're aiming for, they've got it on, they've got it on lockdown. They're like, I'm going to go here. They think, right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to go. I'm going to buy loads of stuff. 
be that person that's just there. I don't know why I did an American accent. And they wait before the shop even opens. They're at the front of that queue. Could have been there for days, weeks, whatever. They're chilling and they know exactly what they're going to go in for. <laughs> I love Ikea. I'm going to get all the chairs and all the tables. I love Ikea so much. <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> and finally, this would be typically me if I definitely went out. So it's the person that goes crazy, it hacks the whole day, you know, does does what they need to do, buys everything they wanted to get, gets some great bargains, happy as Larry, loads of bags full of shopping. They leave the place, the shop, wherever they've been, and realise they've only gone and got the bus into town, haven't they? Got my TV in a box, bag of dreams, and obviously looks really full. So let me just get my car keys. Ah, oh. stranded. So there you have it. That was Unique First World Problems episode six. And that was all about the wonderful Black Friday. If you did get some bargains on Black Friday, a nice one. I'd lo love to know what you got. So if you want to comment below and tell me what you got, feel free. I'd love to know. And if you're that internet savvy person, good for you. Because that is what I prefer to do. I can't really afford to buy anything anyway. But you know, it's always worth a cheeky look, isn't it? Always worth it. So if you, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And I'll try and do as many as possible, throw them your way. And if you do enjoy them, please let me know because I love to hear what you guys think of them. Also, if you have any ideas of what I could be doing with Fertile Problem on that you might think, oh my gosh, this just does my head in. And, or you do it yourself and you're like, yeah, I'm a massive drama queen. Send it my way. And I do lots of interviews with bands and other stuff. So if you want to have a look at that, have a little look at my channel and uh, see what you think. See you very soon. Bye bye.